This LCE hotspot for Tuesday, April 21st is brought to you by the Lake Health District. Playa at Summer Lake has been awarded a $157,000 grant by the Murdoch Charitable Trust. The money will be used to create an art gallery multi-purpose space on the Playa campus. The Playa board is especially excited about the grant as it furthers their goal to be an asset to the community. The space will allow people to stop at Playa at any time to see the art that is on display. Construction will begin this year and they hope to have it done by the time artists return in 2021. Paisley High School senior Mia Milosnovic was named to the third state all team by the Oregon Basketball Coaches Association. She had also been named to the track and field all state team and the volleyball all state team. Mia Snonovich from Montenegro is only the second student athlete in the history of the Paisley High School to be named to three all state teams for different sports. While she has returned to her home country for the summer, she plans on attending Stanford University in Alabama on a track and field scholarship this fall. With zero confirmed cases as of Tuesday, April 21st, out of 65 return tests, the Lake County Commissioners are looking at forming a committee to present a plan to the Governor's Office of what a gradual and phased reopening would look like in Lake County. The Commissioners are following the lead of Harney County, which is asking to be a pilot project of a regional reopening of businesses in Oregon. Currently, the Commissioners are collecting ideas of how social distancing can be maintained in various businesses around the county. Send your ideas to Commissioner Mark Albertson at malbertson at co.lake.or.us. Coming up in the Wednesday, April 22nd edition of the Lake County Examiner, find stories about a Lakeview High School senior named to all state, work at Red Rock slows down, and artifacts are promised to the Alger Theater, upcoming events, and much more. Lake District Hospital and the Lake County Public Health have been overwhelmed by the amount of support Lake County residents have shown us. Join us as we recognize these citizens for helping us help you during this uncertain time. Personal Protective Equipment Donations by Dr. Mark Davis, Dave and Patty Newton, Bureau of Land Management, Mr. and Mrs. David Rutledge, Clint and Heidi Smith of Thunder Ranch, and Jessica Bogardis. Cloth Mask and Fabric Donations by Diane Hamilton, the Cloth Mask Donations Organizer, Arlene Henry, Bev Hollers, Teresa Andrews, Lori Albertson, Sandra Cobian, Anna O'Neill, Mickey Bybee, Sandy Souye, Judy Clark, Carly Remstedt, Linda Doherty, Nancy Harrington, Sandra Cobian, Sandy Lindsley, Candace Johnson, Sue Harrington, Nancy Albertson, Josie Rez, Loretta Jornstadt, Linda Greenwood, Tilly Flynn, Annie Thornton, Carolyn Julian, Sandy Lisney, and Penny Weeby. Food and miscellaneous donations by Burger Queen, Amanda Anderson, Anna Babette, and Linda Wells, Red Rock Biofuels, Lisa Webbin, Donna Palmer, and Occupy East Street. We also received anonymous donations for pizzas and drive through coffees. If we have missed anyone, please let us know. These donations have reaffirmed what we already knew. Lake County is an amazing place. These entities are equal opportunity providers and employers.